Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Well, today I'm doing Free Pattern Friday. Haven't done one for a while. It's been a couple of months, I think. But I thought we could do with a Free Pattern Day. Mainly because I have to rest. I have a, um, I'm a little immobile. I have plantar fasciitis in my left foot. I did have it before I went on holidays and now it's flared up again and I've got to have physio and rest it a bit. Um, so take the afternoon off and I've had a bit of time in front of the laptop so I thought we could research some free patterns and I've come up with three crochet patterns and three knitting patterns to share with you. So let's get started. With the festive season upon us if you're looking for that little gift that you want to give someone or you want to make something festive but you don't want to spend a lot well I have some free patterns that are festive patterns or gift patterns first off the ranks this is if your whip pile is low and you really like to make a Christmas jumper it's a crocheted pattern and it's one that I liked that I saw on Ravelry and you can get on their website Christmas lights by Hobie I really like this. I, it's a crochet jumper that would probably whip up really quickly and it'd be awesome. It's just a pity I live in the tropics. It'd be too hot to wear it on Christmas Day. So it's made with, um, it's a Christmas light sweater on Hobie. It's made with their yarn um, Kind Feather or Flash It, which has got me, um, Metallica fibre in it and there's different sizes all the way up to g um, which doesn't really tell you what the sizes are oh it tells you in all the measurements right up to 5xl you can make this pattern and it's their yarn is a three weight or eight ply and use a four millimeter crochet hook so there you have it i think that's really cute and we good on christmas day in a cold climate christmas lights jumper by hobie check it out all the links to the patterns will be in the description below so if you want to make a little toy and you're into amigurumi and you're part of the amigurumi wars i kind of like this one yellow pink and sparkly christmas bear by janet mcmahon Ta -da! look at that isn't she cute that is made with a fingering weight or four ply yarn um, she stands nine inches or 23 centimeters tall. It is in English terminology, but I'm sure if you've been crocheting a while, you can convert that to US terminology. But yes, Chris and Spare, she's very cute. Um, hook size, three millimeter and two millimeter hooks. You need stuffing and you could make it in any, any color and make it Christmassy, put a Christmas dress. There you go, Christmas Bear, crochet pattern number two. Won't be a moment. Sorry about the lighting, it's very, very dark outside. We're expecting rain. It's quite late and yes, there's a bit of air traffic noise. So I thought I'd pause it when the big one was going over. Back to crochet pattern number three. This I've made in the past and I really liked it and it's been a big hit with my friends. It is da -da, da da cat paws Christmas stocking. Now this is made with it's a yarn inspirations free pattern, Red Heart Super Saver five millimeter crochet hook, and it finishes about thirteen and a half inches long, and it's not that expensive to make. And you put a few cat toys in it and give it to a friend who's a cat lady and has lots of cats. I think that's really cute. There is also a dog one, which I have made also, same thing. It's geared to be designed towards a dog, but it's basically the same pattern with a tid, like a bone motive. But yeah, I've made both and given them away as gifts. So there's a cute little gift for friends who have furry friends and you want to give them something, whether it be a cat or dog. So we're getting to knitting. Now, for my knitting subscribers, this is one I really like. And in the pet theme, we're continuing. And it's Yarn Inspirations. And it is the Holiday Dog Sweater. 
I really like that. I think that's really well done and looks very cute. It's made with Red Heart Soft and it's a 4 weight yarn, so probably a 5mm knitting needle as well. It doesn't say on there. I didn't print the whole pattern, but there you go. I think that would look very cute on my little plastic friend here. Ta -da. He's been named. He's called Westy. His first knitted garment he modelled for us was a pattern by Stephen West. And Barbara, a subscriber, suggests we name him Westy. And that is going to be his name. Say hi to Westy. No doubt you'll see him again. So yes, that's a very cute little jacket for a furry friend. Or I do know of someone who actually makes dog coats for a rescue charity in the Northern Hemisphere. And that would be good for that too. Because you could make it in different scrap yarns. And um, I just can't see... It does do a small size, I just don't know how small it would be. Because I know I used to make a lot of dog coats for two hours because they do feel the cold being so small. But there you go. That is very cute. Our first knitting pattern. This one is something I like. Um, I probably would do a slightly different colour version. It doesn't photograph well. well it's women's and teens medium size but I reckon you can make it for a guy too. Christmas mittens. I would like this in the cold weather because you can have your fingers free to do stuff and then you have a cover that goes over them. Now that's probably a little complicated for me to make but I do like that. I think they're very nice and if I lived in a colder climate at Christmas I'd be making these. Christmas mittens by Deborah Tomasillo and it uses Knit Picks Palette, Serrano and Ivy. It looks like three to four DPNs needed and size according to your gauge. And it gives you the gauge. There you go. Aren't they nice? So that rather than just a standard mitten with your fingers exposed or closed in in the, a full on mitten, I quite like that idea that you've got the fold over top. Now this one is one I've looked at before and I wasn't overly fussed on but this is the one my client, customer ordered at the markets one of these and I am in the process of knitting it. It is ribbed and it is a little hard on my hands but it seems okay. I'll explain why I wasn't fussed on it when I show you. It is Frank's, Frankie's Knitted Stuff Christmas Tea Cozy. She ordered one of these and another different pattern, which is a paid-for pattern. She wants this one with the snowman. Now, all those white balls will have to be knitted on. I may come up with a different idea. But so far, the navy blue part is turning out really well. She wanted the larger size. My fuss is the snowman. I'm not overly fussed on him. Close in the pattern, he doesn't look that great. And I would probably have given him a red hat so he stands out on the navy blue rather than a black hat. But I'll show you when I finish it and you can let me know what you think. Now it's made in 8-ply, 3-weight yarn. I am doing it in pure wool, most of it in pure wool. And it uses a 4mm and a 4.5mm knitting needle. And the whole, like the whole navy blue part would probably be... Um, 50 to 75 grams of wool. But there you have it. A tea cozy for Christmas. Now I've dropped the clicker. So it'll have just have to stay where it is. Anyway guys, that's me for Free Pattern Friday. I hope you find something you make. If you do make any of these free patterns, please hashtag it with Free Pattern Friday AU. And that way I can find it on Instagram or Facebook or even put it on Ravelry. Make sure you tag me in to let me know you've made one of the free patterns. And yeah, if you've ever made one in the past, please leave a comment below and let me know how you found that particular pattern. It's always great to know the rating on patterns. Um, other than the, the Christmas stockings, I haven't done any of the others. And I'm currently doing the tea cozy. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you have 
one crafty day. Bye for now.